What's good, YouTube? Welcome back for episode two of Automating an Empire. In the last episode, we got the driller set up, and we are actually using it for the first time now. That one didn't go very long, but that was okay. We just needed to go on and drill out enough to where we could actually set it up correctly. So we're going to go ahead and cut this off here, and we are going to pull this piston back in. So we're just going to hit reverse here, so it'll come back in. And we should have gotten a decent bit of stone on that one. So we're going to convert this piston over to a regular piston next. And we're going to be putting another drill or two on top of this. So we can drill more of this out. So I'm going to have to actually concentrate on bre breaking out the spot for the drill here. Now that we've got that first drill in, it'll be a lot easier to figure out what we need. I think that should be enough for it. Let's see. Uh, not quite close though. Alright, so we managed to get about 30,000 stone with that, so that's really good actually. I think that's going to be enough to build the secondary drill that we're about to build. Let me make sure everything is good. It looks like we've almost got it all drilled out. There's three spots I need to touch real quick. The thing about a base drill is you cannot put it in rock at all when you first put it in. Otherwise, it will just not go. So you got to be aware of that while you're working. All right, so we got both of the drills running now, so I'm gonna go on and toggle the blocks on so we can get enough up for the pistons, or the piston that we need. And we will go ahead and hit reverse on the piston. This should dig out enough to create a larger piston. All right, so I'm making the piston now, so we'll go ahead and add the drills as well. So let's see, is that going to fit? Yes, that'll fit, and that'll fit perfectly. So I'm going to need a few more large steel tubes real quick, but that's not a problem. Go on and get all this stuff welded up so we can start drilling effectively. All right, so both drills are ready to go. So let me go on ahead and turn them on real quick, and we will drill out some more. Okay, so we were running into some serious power issues, so I decided to go ahead and add another power block. So we should be good to go now. Let's see. All right, so let me get all this stuff queued back up. Make sure, all right. Oh yeah, we have struck gold, ladies and gentlemen. I'm guessing this is gold and silver, I'm looking. All I see here is gold, but I'm guessing it's gonna be silver too. So I'm gonna go on and GPS this. All right, I found quite a few of them actually. I found just about everything. I'm going to go ahead and try to finish this up real quick. Alright, so now we got that finished up. We're going to go ahead and toggle that block on. And we're going to drill through here. And then we're going to extend to another piston. Oh yeah, I got an enhanced grinder in that one. That's actually really good news. Okay, so now I'm working on a refinery and an assembler. We're going to be getting our build and repair system up soon too, so that's going to be awesome. At that point, all we really need to do is just set up a miner of some sort and run around, pick everything up, run an auto miner, and then we can just start building and placing the the, sh or the uh, base. That's going to be pretty fun. Basically, the build and repair system is going to take over for the building for us. And I should be able to print my miner very shortly. And I, I, I'll, I'll just dig all of this out once I do that. So it looks like I need to go find some cobalt. Of course I need to go find cobalt. This is the one thing I don't think I've found so far. I say don't think because I did find some gold. And I'm guessing there's some silver somewhere close by it. I just didn't see it with my drill. So I'm going to go try to find some cobalt real quick. While I'm here, I'm going to pick up some silver for some tools. That way we can go ahead and get better tools as soon as possible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and print off the needler here so we can get some stuff started. I still can't find any cobalt yet, so that's going to be a problem here. I need to go find some cobalt and cancel all of that. Okay, so I've upgraded my drill and hopes to find some actual cobalt finally it seems like it may be like a lot deeper than i thought it was but apparently not 
found it. Now that we've actually found this cobalt, we can move ahead and get everything made that we need to. Get our 3D printer up and running, all that fun stuff. All right, so we got our build and repair system up and running. It is now making the way out here. I also have a ship that I want to make so we can start doing our cutting out of our base here. Okay, so we are out of steel plates. I need to make some more of those. Let me see what I can do about that. Uh, I think I need to actually set this assembler to group one if I remember correctly. I need to go look at the build and repair real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, so we just had to name the groups correctly and now build and repair should be working. Let's check the assembler here. Yeah, it's working. Awesome. Uh, we are going to be short silicon and iron, so I need to go ahead and get some of that. Alright, looks like we just need iron now. That's awesome. Okay, so I've got build and repair working to its fullest extent. Um, right now I've got the drill and fill system drilling out a giant hole for us, which is going to help out quite a lot. That's just basically going to give us some hangar space to start with. And... Currently, I've got two build and repair guys sitting here, and we have also created a needler over here as well. So basically what I'm going to do with the needler is I'm going to do all the angles and stuff that I want to dig out, and I'm going to use drill and fill for the rest of it. So I'm letting that run right now, and everything's running nice and smoothly. So it's going to take a little while to do this, so I'll get back with you after that's done. Looks like we may have incoming. We've got an assertive ladybug up here heading our way so we might actually have some action already I do have a turret up but only one so I'm gonna have to actually get a little creative with this they're gonna start sending drones and stuff after us if they get close enough okay it looks like they just went on past us and didn't see us that's pretty cool that that it's a little early to be fighting things I think I don't have too many defenses up or anything like that, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm also building some large cargo containers with conveyors just to hold all of the stone that we're getting here. I know I'm missing out on a lot of the stone, but that's fine for now. I'm actually going to be upgrading the production very shortly too. I need to make a refinery room as well. Uh, I'm going to do a temporary one probably down in this area right here once I get a little bit of this dug out. So I actually had to stop digging because I'd filled up so much with stone that the refinery that I had couldn't keep up. So I'm going ahead and adding two refineries to the mix as well. And I'm also adding speed modules to them as well. I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting some more power up very shortly <clears throat> because we're still running low on power. And adding these speed modules in is gonna severely hurt our power as well. So I gotta figure out how to do that. I may actually go find some ice and start mining a bunch of ice up and just run hydro generators. That's probably the smart thing to do. So I've got a defense installation here. I'm trying to remember how crazy it is. I remember right, they weren't too hard to kill in our previous episode that we did on the other one. They only had, I think, three weapons. We also have a territory defense station over here, but yeah, I believe these guys have like three weapons, so we might be able to take them out. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Okay, so I'm drilling my way to the guy. I know this will work. I just need to get a good shot on that turret up top, and it's kind of hard to see at night. In fact, let me go ahead and adjust the daytime. I thought I had this one set up to where there would never be night, but I guess I'm wrong. Since this is not a challenge playthrough, I want to run full daytime at all times. So I'll get that set up later. All right, I just saw him right there. I may be able to pull this thing here. Yes, got it. And there should be another one right down here somewhere. 
Yeah, I see him. And I think that might be all that can see us right this second. I'm looking. Uh, I know I've got one right here. Got that one. And I believe that's it for what can see me. There should be one on the other side over here too. So I've got new weapons added as you see the the new gatling turret and stuff like that i think that's pretty cool i can't wait to really look into them let's make sure that we don't get shot coming around the corner here there may have only been three weapons if i remember right there were only three well yeah actually this is a weapon what is that light laser turret interesting Ooh, it's got superconductors and everything nice um i'm looking for some stuff that might have some platinum in it somewhere that would be awesome Go ahead and kick down this battery real quick. And that should have been everything's power. Oh wait, yeah, there's another battery on the other side over here. Got it. Let's go ahead and fix this back up and grab whatever ammo it's got. Wow. A lot of ammo in that thing. Alright, so I need to make something in order to come chew all this stuff up. I think I'm going to make a poly for this playthrough for the time being. So I'm going to go ahead and print one of those up as soon as I can. Let me mark this spot with my GPS to tell me to come back and grind this up. And check to make sure there's nothing inside that's going to hurt me. No. I'm just going to grab what I can while I'm here. And then head back over. With a poly. Wow, a lot of motors. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and GPS this. Alright, it is GPS, and I'm heading back to the base for now. We're going to go check out this territory defense station real quick on my way back. I just want to see what it is. I'm going to try to just speed through there because it doesn't seem like the guns can hit us at 250. Just so we can get a good view of what's going on here. Oh yeah, that's going to be awesome. So, we've got to kill that, uh, that weapon. That's going to be interesting. Oh yeah, I was wanting to check out this light or Jaguar B1 light interceptor as well. I saw it the other day and I decided that I want to try to convert it into a working ship if at all possible. So I need to check it out real quick, see what's up with it. Okay, so we've got us another defense installation over there. A couple of them actually. So we're going to actually have to go grabbing up a bunch of them. Alright, so is this capable of even being flown? Is this a ship or is this... Okay, I can convert it to a ship, hopefully. So what I need to do is come back and fix it and give it some thrusters and all that fun stuff. We've got a few thrusters here. There's our ion thrusters, though. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with that. So yeah, we're just going to have to tear this whole thing down, I guess. Uh, let's see, what do you have in the back here? Nothing. There is some uranium in the reactors. Let's go on and take out the reactors, because I can definitely use a reactor on the base uh so let me come back to this real quick once i've got my poly ready and we'll grind that down as well to get the reactors because we can definitely use reactors at base and this is coming along quite nicely uh we've gotten a lot of the ref or a lot of the refinery stuff done i'm working on some assemblers as well to speed up the production so i'm gonna let this run continuously while i'm working on this uh let's see this guy should be ready, but his batteries aren't charged. So we're going to have to wait on those batteries to charge. Uh, let me go into full recharge mode on these. Speed things up a little bit. Okay, so it's got another five hours. I'm definitely going to need to go grab. While I'm doing that, I'm just going to go grab the small refineries off of this guy. Or not refineries, but small reactors off of this guy. And bring them back to the base and hopefully make a small reactor for the base. There they are. So if you ever find this, just realize that the reactors are down in this little section right here behind the cockpit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these reactors up. Uh, let's see, can I actually grab the uranium? Yes, I can. Let me go on and grab all the uranium. There are, looks like quite a few small reactors on here. So I'll have to, if I have to, I'll take the whole thing apart just to get the react or get the reactor built at the base okay so the other four reactors so it looks like six reactors the other four are side by side with those two reactors that we just took out so that's how you can find them okay so apparently there's a functional thruster on here too as well i want to grab that while we're here what are you laser cannon yeah we're going to grab that and find this other thruster it's probably a downward facing thruster would be my bet 
By the way, I love the paint job on this thing. It's quite nice. It, it looks all old and mossy. Very well done, whoever made this ship. I found the thruster. And I also picked up these things called Universal Energy Charge. There's two or 200 of them. I dropped everything in my inventory except for the special stuff like the uranium, the reactor cores, uh, components, uh, superconductors, and stuff like that. The stuff that I can't easily get. There's the good ion thruster. So there's going to be a little bit of thruster components in that. So we can get a little bit of um, platinum up already. And let's see, what do we have here? This has got superconductors, so we're going to take these as well. Okay, I just saw more of those universal things. So I don't think I have enough space to... I'm going to go on and drop this oxygen bottle. I don't need it at the moment. And see if I can pick any more of these up. So we don't have enough room for everything, unfortunately. But we got a, quite a bit off of this. And we've got more of them in here too, I believe. So we're gonna have to come back and grab more. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got all the high-end components off of the ship and brought it all back to base. I think I'm gonna call this episode here for now. And while we're or in between the episodes, I'm just gonna let all this run and try to get all this built up and everything and see where we're at from there in the next episode we're gonna go take over some or take over out some of those bases over there because that seems to be something that's popping up a lot we're getting a lot of extra bases over there so i don't want to get overrun this early so it's probably a good idea to go and start clearing things out so i will see you at the next episode Thank you for watching the video all the way through. If you haven't already, think about dropping a like to let me know you did. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, how about helping us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers? If you'd like to see more, click one of the videos on your screen now. Thank you. Have a nice day.